it's a quest two questions for both of y'all. Um, what got you both into acting? And um, what were your first roles, if you can remember? I, I think uh, I did a seventh grade show of uh, the importance of being earnest. I think that's the first thing that I did. <laughs> yeah. As far as, as far as what got me into acting, I had some friends show up after I got back from the Marine Corps, and they, and they, uh, they said, the Art Institute in Chicago is just fabulous. You've got to try this out. Wow. And uh, I did, and they accepted me to my shock, and uh, that, was, that started a whole infatuation with the arts, uh, the arts in general, but in, in, the, the creative art of, of drama, what, mm -hmm. what's about, well, how, that, how that works. Mm -hmm. So I'm still kind of turned on by the mechanics of it, you know. Yeah. And, and me, my first role? <laughs> I'm trying to it. think. Uh, <clears throat> actually, I think my first role was a voiceover, of all things. <laughs> I, played, I played June Allison's son on the oh, June wow. Allison show. Uh, my first on camera was a Twilight Zone where I played a kid selling newspapers. Do you remember the episode? Yes, that was called Printer's Devil, and most of me ended up on the cutting room floor. <laughs> but it was Devil. the only one hour long, or there were two one hour long episodes of Twilight Zone, and that oh. was one of them. That's that was awesome. what, the, the cool thing was I got to meet Burgess Meredith and Robert Sterling. Yeah, uh, that's so amazing. Sterling, Rod Sterling <laughs> and Robert Sterling. I met both of them, so that was cool. And what got you into acting? What jump-started your passion for acting um, drama? My parents were in the business, and I thought uh, that acting would be fun. And then my parents decided that was not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and so they uh, put the kibosh on my acting career because I was working too much and missing school and things like that, and they just told my agent he's not working anymore. But they didn't tell me. And I thought, God, I'm 14 years old and no one wants me anymore. Aww. And uh, so what I did is I started a rock band to teach my parents a lesson. <laughs> and uh, I had a hit rock band when I graduated high school and went out and did rock and roll for years. And then my parents felt I hadn't suffered enough so I should be a writer. And they convinced me to, to write. Okay. That's, how I ended up, that's how I ended up in prison. <laughs> Okay, thank y'all so much.